I've been obsessed with cars as long as I can remember. In 2008, I was reading about the Nissan GTR that was built from the ground up as an attack weapon to vaporize cars that cost three or four times as much. The R35 GTR is an example of Nissan's concept of innovation for excitement. They dared to do something that no one else was doing. I became totally obsessed with the GTR, and I have personally owned a 2009 GTR. My name is Neil Blomkamp. I am the director of Gran Turismo, which is a movie about Nissan's goal to train simulation racers, put them in real cars, and then eventually compete against professional race car drivers. was offered this film, it felt like the perfect opportunity to take an interest that I had that I never thought I would incorporate into filmmaking and kind of do both at the same time. This is authentic, right? Yeah. That's awesome. It's just like pure function. So that's the reason I definitely wanted to direct this movie. Welcome to the GT Academy. The 10 of you are the best. Now is your chance to turn dreams into reality. From the beginning, Neil has been very specific about the type of movie he wants to make, which involved real racing, real cars, real tracks. You're gonna make split-second decisions that could cost you your life. I want them breaking the sound barrier. We're just gonna turn them loose and see if we can do it. This is not a game. The cars are actually going close to 140, 150 miles an hour. That's what I'm talking about! When the actors aren't in the car and we have our stunt drivers and race car drivers driving, they're going close to 200 miles an hour. This movie was very real, but the film also has about 1,100 hidden VFX shots, meant to be invisible VFX that transport you to a place. The cars are real and the actors in the cars are real, but we replicated the crashes with visual effects, and we used physics simulation to crash the car and try to get it exactly like what happened. As soon as I signed on, I started thinking about who could be the best collaborators to make the film with. I absolutely love my DP, Jacques Joffrey. He had the complete right approach to it. We would set up the action, and then we would just cover it with a lot of cameras. This film used an insane amount of cameras. We had one race sequence that topped out at 24 simultaneous cameras running. The drones were flying 150 kilometers an hour and basically dive bombing the cars. And I just kept trying to get the most dynamic, high speed stuff that I could. We were dealing with some of the best stunt drivers in the world. We just did one of the pinnacle racing scenes of the movie. We're doing it in something called a pod car, which means the car is being controlled by a professional driver sitting right on top of me. It looks like they're driving. Woo! but I'm actually driving up here on top. Close that gap, come on! We found a stunt driver in the UK, Mauro Kello, who had built a camera platform car. He had picked a car that was all weatherproof, four-wheel drive, incredibly reliable, and could keep pace with GT3 race cars. Of course, it was a Nissan GTR. We've got to prove to everyone that we belong. Can we shoot all of this super close? I'm not sure if I can do this. Most people can't. I got a feeling you're not most people. This movie is shot all around the world goes to several of the most famous racetracks on the planet. 
We are at the Slovakia Ring. The Nürburgring in Germany. The Dubai Autodrome. Red Bull Ring. You have eight to ten extras per team that are in the pit. If you have ten teams, you have 80 people. It means you're moving 80 people, plus the actors, the rest of the crew, over 20 race cars, and about 24 stunt drivers to this number of race tracks. With that comes a lot of different challenges. This has tested the resolves of the cast, the crew, everyone. The weather has been very unpredictable. We've had heavy fog, which meant we couldn't film. We've had heavy snow. It was obviously completely unshootable. We've had rain machines when it's been actually raining. So we're completely soaked from the actual rain and then fake rain on top of that. It's been challenging beyond belief, but I wouldn't change a single minute because it's been so much fun. I have always had a love affair with cars. There's something with cars that they feel like this merging between structural engineering and art. told the 15-year-old version of me that you would direct a large Hollywood film centered around race cars on tracks all over Europe, that would have been my dream goal. So I hope some kid out there feels that you can follow your dreams and they may very well come true. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Huge thanks to everyone. You guys were awesome.